Hey guys, it's Jess and I have a book haul for you today. So I bought these books at Amazon.com and I know that I've said that I'm going to only get my books from the library and then if I read them and I love them, then I can buy them. And I'm still technically holding to that rule. It's just that my library didn't hold these books in particular. And I mean, that's really not my fault, right? I mean, I can't help it if the library doesn't carry these books. So I had to buy them, right? I had to. This is a pretty eclectic haul. Um, <laughs> it's really kind of a mixture of stuff. The first book that I got is Letters from Backstage by Michael Kostroff. And um, as it says, it's the adventures of a touring stage actor. And this actor actually um, toured on, uh, did two Broadway tours, The Producers and Les Mis. Um, and it just talks about his experiences on the road. So I had to check this one out. I, I love this kind of stuff. The next book that I got was Brothel, Mustang Ranch and Its Women by Alexa Albert. And a, a Harvard medical student um, did sort of an expose. They um, went into Mustang Ranch, which is one of the legal prostitution firms in Nevada. Or actually, I just learned that people from Nevada don't say Nevada, they say Nevada. So Nevada. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just sort of a, a look into this world. And I always like learning about things I don't know anything about. So this looked interesting to me. I just... I don't know, I kind of see want to see what the fuss is about. Then next I got um, Perfume by Patrick uh, Suskind, 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 something like that. Um, and uh, this is, sorry, I've got the summary on the screen. It's about a perfume apprentice in 18th century France who born with no body scent himself begins to stalk and murder virgins in search of the perfect scent, which he finds in a young woman named Lore, whom his acute sense of smell finds in a secluded private garden in grass. So, um, I mean, the plot seems really interesting. It's an international bestseller. There's a movie based on it. So, um, yeah, it just looks interesting. Now we move on to some YA. Um, I got... The Girl Who Was on Fire, which is edited by Leah Wilson, and this is uh, basically a book with a number of authors just sort of talking about the Hunger Games trilogy and exploring, you know, some of the themes and, and all of that kind of thing, just sort of a basically literary discussions about the books, um, which seemed really interesting to me, so I wanted to pick this up. I also got Rampant by Diana Peterfriend, and I've seen this in a bunch of halls, and I mean, it's about killer unicorns, guys. I, I had to. I had to. And then last but not least, I got Timeless by Alexander Monier. Um, Monier? Something like that. Um, the cover really drew me in. I mean, it's gorgeous and beautiful. Um, it's about a girl who uh, is able to go back in time and falls in love with somebody in that time and, you know, just trying to work it all out and finding out things about her family and her past and all of that kind of stuff. So wanted to check it out. So that was the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to reading all of these books. Um, just to give you a little bit of an update, um, I know I said that I was going to post my Q&A um, video on Friday, and I just completely forgot. So I will be posting that tomorrow. Um, hopefully I can do it in one part, but maybe it'll be two. We'll see. Um, I did finish reading Agnes and the Hitman by Jennifer Cruzy and Bob Mayer, and I'm not going to do a review on it. I don't really have anything to say about it. It was, it was fine. If I were going to rate it, I would give it like two stars, two and a half. It was, it was okay. Um, then I'm going to start reading The Help by Catherine Stockett, and um, after that's done, I'll start reading the Harry Potter series. So excited about that. 
So yeah, that's kind of where I am. And like I said, I'll be posting my Q&A videos tomorrow. I'm going to start those tomorrow. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.